Hey YouTube, I thought I would talk about leopard geckos today. Um, basically just talking about some facts, uh, if you don't know anything about leopard geckos. So uh, these are um, some pretty helpful and informational tips that you can use. Here's my leopard gecko, her name is Angel. And she's just been trying to get out of this box. I've been trying to film this video and she's just been climbing out just like that. Alright, so... um some cool things about leopard geckos. If you really don't know anything about leopard geckos, um, they are desert animals. They actually come from Afghanistan. And um, they don't really drink a lot of water. Um, leopard geckos usually go weeks without water. You always want to make sure that they have a water bowl, though, because they do need to drink. They need to stay hydrated. But, yeah, they really don't drink water. So when um, when leopard geckos shed, they do shed. They shed their skin, uh, and when they do, they actually eat it. They eat their their skin. Some say it's for defense purposes. Some say it's nutritional. Um, I think it's actually a defense mechanism. I don't really know for sure, but um, I think it's a defense mechanism so they can't be tracked and things like that. Um, they have a, a detachable tail. Their tails uh, can actually come right off. That's also a defense mechanism. And it'll actually wiggle and sort of distract their enemies so they can run away to safety. And the tail will grow back. It will just, uh, it, will it will never look the same uh, when it does grow back. Um, and they call it a regenerated tail. That's what they call it when they, when it grows back. Uh, it actually comes back kind of fat and round. And it's really not attractive looking. So don't ever um, hold your leopard gecko by its tail. You can touch its tail, and but don't really grab onto it. Don't grab a hold of it because it can and will come right off. Um... Something else that's pretty cool about leopard geckos is that, uh, I guess not really all that cool, but, um, they are cold-blooded animals. Which means they're not warm-blooded like humans, like you and me. So they can't really regulate or control their body temperatures. So if it's cold around them, they're gonna be freezing cold. That's, that's how they, that's how they work. So you always need a heat lamp. They're uh, normal living temperatures are around 85 degrees on one warm side of a tank. And there's always got to be a cool side of the tank too so they can decide what, what they feel more comfortable. It's in about 75 degrees in the cool side of the tank. So we always want to have one side of the tank warm. And another side, cool. It's just, um, it really keeps a good living environment for them. So, uh, leopard gecko's main diets include crickets, mealworms, um, you can feed them superworms, and when they're grown enough, occasionally pinkies, which are little baby mice. And that's a couple of cool things about leopard geckos. They're very tame animals. They don't bite you. They like to run, though. And handling them is something that you should always try to do. Always try to handle your animal because um, it just gets it gets it used to you and things like that. Um, I guess I could talk about how to tell if it's a boy or a girl too. Um, there's a little spot under their tails. I won't be able to get that on. Uh, yeah, I won't be able to get that on camera. She's freaking out. But um, there's a little spot under their tails. I'll probably include a picture or something. Um, if they have what are called pores, it's a male, and they'll have um, two big round 
bulges at the end of their tail. And that's a male. And females do not have that. Females don't have anything. So, yep, that was just a couple of informative information <laughs> about leopard geckos. So, um, please remember to subscribe, comment, and give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, at geckoguy1990, and uh, I also have Google+, Plus, which is geckoguy1990. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.